Again, Father God, we thank you for today. We, we welcome your presence here. We welcome the living word. We welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome whatever saints should be here and, and angels and the Hebrew letter Yod and spirit of prophecy. We welcome it all. In the name of Jesus, have your way here, Father God. Tech angels, go help us. In Jesus' name. And everybody, just share what God's showing you now. Whatever you're seeing now or sensing now or feeling now or hearing now, let's just we'll go with the Holy Spirit's flow and it's going to be good. So we're ready in heavenly places, but we'll just officially shift our focus there as we just count down. Four, three, two, one. We just step into the heavenly realms where we are already and see what Abba has for us. Well, I obviously see Yod. <laughs> Yod is here. So. Mm, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, who is the word that, that splits the cedars? Who is this word that causes the cows to give forth babies? Yeah. Jeremiah, what does that relate to? That word? The... um. Yeah, the I I felt like Yod is like that the word that um <laughs> it creates lightning, splits the cedars, but it's also the same the same uh, the same vowel or the same word that causes um, a deer to bring forth a doe. It causes a seed to sp to sprout. Mm -hmm. That's just what popped out. Sorry. <laughs> cool. Oh, thanks. I liked it. <laughs> hey, um, I got to okay. say something real quick. I didn't know what he just shared prior. Uh, call me ignorant. I don't know. But I just, my surroundings right now, I'm in the middle of a lightning storm. Okay. Um, that's been taking place uh, not too long now, maybe the last three, three minutes of time. Thank you. Mm. Do, like you all know what the the yod. Yod, do you all know what the yod looks like because i'm going to just put on my video to show you i hope it doesn't come out backwards can you see that like a fire yes like can you see okay so yeah okay so it's actually yes, it's you. it's a they call it like yod and it, they, it's like a dot and it's the first stroke of the first part of every letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is quite interesting. There's a whole lot of commentary here. I'll read you one. Uh, you're the dot, the letter that sits in all letters, as the dot must be made to bring about all other written letters. It's the tenth letter, yet the first in the execution of writing of all letters. The seemingly small dot is so significant that nothing begins without its power to race across the multiverse in a micro instant to perform <laughs> and finish a task. It is the action of thought speed to bring the painting of a big picture in one's mind. This letter Yod begins the tetragrammaton of Yod Hey Vav Hey, which I think yeah. you know that, yeah, right? Way. It's also the spark of change. By the time you've blinked, the yard's gone to the other side of the universe and back. It's creative light. It's the all spark of all creation. Thank you. That's from this book, which is really great if none of if you don't have it. Oh, Friends, Friends of, of Eva. Yeah. yeah, it's a great little book. And we welcome the letter Yod. So what is it? What are you guys seeing? What else going on? I'm shaking incredibly. Um, <laughs> just thought I'd share that. Uh, cool. So you feel the spirit. I'm so full of energy right now. I just, <laughs> I feel like I need an outlet. And I, I'm glad I'm here with y'all. I'm really just going to suck it in and let it go inside. Okay. Well, Maggie had um, mentioned to me a little bit earlier today that um, also Yod is, um, people also feel that it is divine energy. 
So I, I feel like, you know, that, that is what's, what's happening for you, Robert. I just want to throw that in. I'm sorry, Peter, go ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. Sounds good. I'm just listening, seeing what everybody else has. I'm resting, waiting. Should we call Yod Sparky? I don't know. And this, 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 this is the first time I've ever actually spoken with the idea that perhaps I was a physical healer, by the way. I didn't accept it until tonight. And Jeremiah mentioned the <laughs> threads. Lori, <laughs> Lee, Lee is, are you raising your hand? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I was raising my hand. Um, I'm sorry, I don't really. Are you guys together? Me? Lee and Robert. No, Lee's screen's frozen. Okay. Unless that's a photo of him raising his hand. I know. I'm <laughs> give it a sec. See if we can see if it'll come through. Okay. okay. Some kind of a celebration going now? on, a celebratory song. It's actually, it's glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. And it's like being sung over the nation. Either us is the nation and the actual nation. Yeah, we, we receive it from the nation. That's great. Yeah. We are walking. Yeah, I... We are walking glory, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> I, I, I keep, I, I find myself on, um, the beach. Can. I, I find myself up on the beach and I can see uh, the the ocean wave. I mean, mm. landing to the shore over and over, and I see that there are a lot of people having activities around mm. the, the beach. But all of a sudden, I began to see the I began to see the the sun, the sun like like the sun on the the other side of the horizon, the other side of the horizon. Um, that is cool. that is what I see now. And the Hebrew word for sea is the word yam, which starts with yeah. the letter yod. Yod. yod huh? I am seeing the flag of the United States of America. So is it, um, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, Peter, was it, uh, was the Hebrew word you gave us for sun or for sea as in S-E-A or S-E-E? -E? I wasn't sure. Red S -E -E. sea. Yeah, so sea, -E -E. the, the body of water is, is yum. Okay, got it. Everybody hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you now. Okay, the these uh, scriptures like the Yod Hey Vav Hey, uh, it began with Aramaic, which is mother's teachings, a ram, um, and then the Hebrew came. Uh, Hebrew is father's teachings. Mother advocates for father, and father advocates for mother. They are they are one, but it's just like Abba, but. Uh, Aramaic is, it's the same language, but Aramaic is written like cursive in, in our language. And Hebrew is written very angular and masculine form of writing. But they work to, the two languages work together to reveal a deeper, deeper level of those, the Abrianic scriptures. Very deep. It's multidimensional. Um, I'm just beginning to scratch the surface. I'm part of a Hebrew Aramaic group called the Stand One Two One, and uh, so do you have that, do you have something that will help us uh, with this, with the understanding of that for this for this meeting right now? Uh, I'll just say eighty eight. Um, the divine masculine feminine, divine feminine masculine, yod hey vav hey. Beautiful. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. 
there is an energy flowing. I mean, I'm just going to bring this up because I'm feeling it. There's an energy flowing in the sacral, sacrum area, or it's being yes. highlighted. I don't know what that connects with. I see the sun rising. I see the color of the sun changing from uh, an amber color to the, the, to a bright light. And it's, it's rising. It's rising. It's, it's as if the rising, the sun is rising over us as we are seated and got, we are guarded, and the sun is beginning to rise over us. Amen. It's, are you seeing the beach? I mean, is the sun rising at the beach? Where are you seeing it? Yes, yes, yes. So it's the color orange I'm thinking of. And there's also a heat coming into my eye area and my head. Deep heat. So you start. I'm sorry, go ahead. This is really strange. But I don't know if y'all are used to. I, I'm not. This is the first time I ever thought of anything like this. But uh if you can tap into my energy right now, you all should really, uh, I'm sending it as much as I can to y'all to heal and to, to have whatever you can get out of this right now because I'm overloaded. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> I want That's it. Awesome. Take it. I'm, I'm sending it. Thank you. Attentions, yes. I did have a feeling it was, it was, uh, it was being released to everybody, so that's that's beautiful. Yeah, there is something going on. It's awesome. I can feel it, brother. Thank you. <laughs> so, so we have a rising sun. Yes, and look at Malachi chapter four, verse two. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing. In his rays. Yeah. Yes, and, and that scripture that, that scripture kept coming to me, but I couldn't quote it off head. Well, that's good. Love that. The the Aramaic and Hebrew, it, it's basically the path of righteousness is to go first, follow your heart go through mother's teachings, then to get to father. Um, those who go first for the power, you know, and, and use their minds just for power and control, um, that's, that's not traveling the correct path. You're supposed first to follow your heart, and it will lead you to where you need to be. So that's thank the you. path of righteousness. Yes. Thank you, Lee. So there's a lot going yes, on here. Thank you. We have the letter Yod. We the flag we've got the the beach the sun the the healing faith what love faith hope and love and the greatest of these is love true sorry faith hope and love and the greatest of these is love that's your path so Lord, always show us has up. been always will be everything i've learned everywhere always ends up equal and out to love it's always the bottom line it's always the way we're 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 not we're not judged. We're 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 allowed to lie there, and we judge ourselves in this world. So wow. we have, we have these love this bench of three right now involved in this uh, scene. So we just we welcome them. What we'll bench of three? Faith, hope, and love. Oh, yes. Mm, that's good. Can I tell you what I'm seeing? It just, yes. yeah, at first I thought, I thought, am I losing my mind when I'm seeing? I just, I was like, uh, I'm like, usually I see these different things, but this just took me on a totally different journey. But then, but the, when you guys were saying that, you know, we welcome, um, you'd, um here and uh i just said okay i know a lot about this and before anybody could really describe anything i just said okay god i'm do what i'd normally do i'm just going to engage with what we've um 
you know, what we've invited here. So I just said, I engaged with you. And when I did, you flew across the room at yeah. a high rate of speed. And I was like, okay. And then I kind of looked over awesome. at him and then he flew another direction. And then it was like, it was like just this craziness it was like i guess the thought was you know have you ever seen the show sonic the hedgehog you know he was you know like very fast and going everywhere but it was like i just kept seeing that so the whole time i felt like there was just this constant movement and so i was moving my head back and forth trying to to engage with you and um finally i was like i guess i get a little frustrated so I kind of jumped on top of, you know, to try to like grab him, you know, to, and when I, and it was like, he, he allowed me to, and, but I wasn't strong enough to stop the movement. And all of a sudden I was being carried along in this fast back and forth until I realized it was moving so fast that that it was like a vibration being released through my whole being. And as I held on for dear life and, and, and I was, you know, the faster it got, it got, and, and then I could hear a sound and it was that sound of like, you know, you, you know, but, but it was like echoing through me. It was echoing through me as I engaged with you know, in this strange odd kind of way but it was very physical feeling you know as i was doing this and it felt like like i had grabbed a hold of an electric socket there was a lot of energy there was a lot of strength but it was a lot of movement and it was a lot of power that that was being released and it was so much stronger and bigger than me and but but i felt the like my whole body vibrating as i'm trying to hold on to this engage with and encounter this you know and i don't can't tell you the reason why i jumped on top but it just felt like i wanted to and that's i wanted to try to focus you know on it but the only way i knew how to fully focus was when i jumped on and when i jumped on it's like instead of the normal me seeing you know this right here i'm interpreting through more like feeling i'm feeling the vibration of feeling and sensing this this vibration and this sound that's like echoing through me and and i'm becoming a part of it uh, i'm becoming a part of the sound i'm becoming like an instrument that's releasing a sound you know through mm -hmm. the heavenly realms and i'm sure this sounds like i'm on drugs but this is what i'm experiencing <laughs> yep. cool. i love oh, wow. it <laughs> While you were talking, Robert, I said, okay, well, I want to engage with you too. And I just sort of sat back and took a breath. And I felt I felt like you went inside of me and it was going like fast up and down my body, you know, like a pinball machine. It bashes the sides. It goes up and oh down. My up down goodness. It was doing that all inside of me. So I can, and I can, I'm, I'm sensing the same vibration. So we're becoming aware of our oneness. Yes. Different ways. So I saw. We. So, Peter, do you think we ought to engage with with Yo just together here, or what are you getting? Yes, Robert, he doesn't that, please. Sure. Okay, hold on, everybody. <laughs> I just, I just, uh, on three, you, we just, we just leap into full engagement with you. Know, so, on three, we just one, two, three. We just fully engage with Yod, and if that's like I did jump on top or if uh, or if you have yo know, go inside or or whatever that that you sense I just feel it's fully engaged and wow 
wow, I feel patterns. Now the movements are turning into patterns. They're, they're repeating patterns that are over and over what I'm sensing. Yes, uh, Robert, I, I can, I can, I'm getting like, when after you finish praying, I, I see a Hebrew letter. I don't know what is it, but that's what I see. I'm getting. Yes. Yeah, you know um, that this is the um, part of every Hebrew letter and every word. And, you know, the letters are living. So Yod is um, the smallest, but uh, it does represent the spark of divine energy and creation and all of that. And, um, you know, I've had some of these encounters um, recently, but um, the thing with that letter being suspended in midair, the prophetic, you know, type of message is, you know, we're ascending and we're flying with Jesus and we're going up uh, even more into that divine energy and into his presence and into his light. And um, that is um, literally a part of every Hebrew letter. Um, so therefore every word um, in the presence of God and that spark of divine is in everything in Hebrew. Love Thank that. You. Thank you. I, just, I feel like I'm on a magical roller coaster ride <laughs> going <laughs> up and up and down. And Amen, like that, sister. that shape, whatever that shape is, I don't mean down, but it's it's really awesome. And there is a ton of energy flowing. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. also the more I'm engaging with it, I'm feeling my insides turning to joy like like joy is rising up with this vibration and sound it's a it's a victorious sound that's echoing through me you know and you know some of the shapes are different than you know what yod looks like so i'm thinking that yod is being causing us to interact with other living letters just like maggie was talking about you know um i'm seeing something it'll just complete circle at one point and i know there's some that are that look like that and i'm i don't have the chart in front of me or anything but but i'm seeing these i don't know just see like light in this movement and this vibration and sound and i am feeling the ooh, i'm feeling it like a sound inside of me Whoa. Generation, yes. Yeah, there is more wow. than one letter involved. I believe I was sensing that too. I didn't have words for it. Well, um, what I'm getting um, a lot of different pictures and words about uh, kind of carving and cutting into us with this vibration and this healing and this um, power. I mean, um, you know, I've had different experiences with this, like you, Robert, and um, others, I'm sure. But anyway, what he's showing me right now is um, like we all, thank you, Jesus. Okay, sorry, the glory just fell on me. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I'm like, Woo! whoa. I kind of went out of body there for a minute. Um, we have access to the whole of the divine and it's all like a lit up pie but it's like that little slice that's open um, is what he wants to fit into us individually where we fit individually with what is that, whatever is needed for our peace. Um, you know, that there's a peace for everyone. Everybody gets a peace and ha everyone has access to the whole, but, you know, like to claim and receive your peace and what your peace is, is all of that light, all of that glory, all of that presence, all of that that's divine and supernatural and wonderful. So um, anyway, uh, and uh, this is all, I, I saw like a hand and, you know, um, Yoda also represents, you know, hand, but um, all the fingertips are kind of like lit, holding a white ball and holding that divine energy and just really, you know, interacting uh, with it, as well as allowing it to interact, you know, with you physically and with your soul. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah. I'm getting the word divinity over and over again. I found I found where the cedars cracking came from. Okay. Uh, I want to read Psalm 29 for you guys. This is a Psalm of David. <laughs> give unto the Lord. And so I looked it up. It's actually give unto Yahweh. But it's capitalized L-O-R-D. So give unto Yahweh, O ye mighty. Give unto Yahweh glory and strength. Give unto mm -hmm. Yahweh glory due to his name. Worship the Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the, of the Yahweh is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Yahweh is upon the waters. The voice of the Yahweh is powerful. The voice of the Yahweh is full of majesty. The voice of the Yahweh breaks the cedars. Yea, the voice of Yahweh breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Sharon like a young unicorn. The voice of the Yahweh divideth the flames of fire. The voice of the Yahweh shaketh the wilderness, and the, Lord, and the Yahweh shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Yahweh makes the hinds calf, and discerneth the forest. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. The Yahweh sitteth upon the flood, yea, the Yahweh sitteth king forever. The Yahweh will give strength unto his people. The Yahweh will bless his people with peace. Wow, that is so good. And I just saw so many consistencies of what we have been speaking about tonight, you know, so far, what we've been engaging. Power, majesty, and might are being emphasized right now. Oh. What was the address again? Psalm 29. Thanks. Messenger chat now, if you have that. What happened to the American flag? How does this relate to the glory, glory, hallelujah? I'm not sure, but I, we'll probably see it in a, in a little while, unless somebody has something now. But I, I think it'll it'll pop up here pretty quick. I'm just getting the word truth with that. Truth, truth, truth. Yes, so we, we do. We welcome truth. We welcome the spirit of truth once again. As I was um, still engaging with you, um, there was, uh, you know, I was riding on the back of you just all over the place. And it was very fast. And, you know, to move so fast that it felt like vibration, you know, um, like every movement was a change to make a different, you know, vibration, you know, but all of a sudden it came to a point where I sensed the letters and, and I could sense words were being formed with these letters. So they like a message was being, you know, displayed. And then uh, I think um, Jeremiah started talking about the voice of Yahweh. And, and I felt like this was the voice of Yahweh coming through, you know, all this of the Hebrew letters. And, you know, they were like forming in front of us, you know. And, and then at one point, Yod went inside my head. It was just like an <laughs> instantaneous, like went inside my head. And it looked like a cartoon moment. Like he was bouncing off my head and my, my head was, you know, like different shapes and everything as he was expanding everything inside of my head and and I realized he was expanding my thoughts he was expanding but it looked comical you know because he was so active so fast you know and he was just creating this vibration of sound and it became faster and faster and faster and and there were multi-colors like inside of my head and but then it also looked like a I don't even know what it is it's just like a um a symbol of of, of something that they show that 
it's like a symbolic thing that people have shown where they show like energy they show um uh i guess it's like a frequency or an energy but but the, it's just i've seen it on different things it's like I'd, ha I'd have to show the picture i'll have to show it later in the group but but it's almost like if i took a paint can and i allowed it just to follow a certain pattern it created a like a a spiral type thing where it yes, was multicolors. Yes, yes. Avril, Avril knows exactly what I'm talking about. I think I know exactly. But... I've just I've just drawn it in my in my journal. It's exactly. <laughs> me... Okay. So like, so, so when, yes. when you when you make yes. a line and you go and you keep going, it makes it makes like a geometric. Do you remember spirographs? When you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's like a spirograph. So it's like, I'm trying to draw this backwards now. Oh, um, boy. But like that, like if it's bouncing here, 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 then it's there, 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 there. You know what I mean? Then eventually it makes a geometric shape. Yes. 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 That's, what I, I was, I, that's what I was seeing earlier. And I was seeing it doing in my mind, doing this. And yes, it, I, I saw it in my sense. body. Wow. Yeah. I, I could see it in my mind and I could see this uh, sound. I could see this energy, but I almost feel like uh, uh, it's like a, it's very scientific almost. It's like the quantum physics is probably the best way to, to explain it. You know, that, that it was like, it was releasing knowledge. It was releasing, but it was expanding how I thought and expanding how I understood. So I'm just like, okay, this is wild. And then someone was seeing, they kept hearing divine and then they were saying divinity and all this kind of stuff. And before I got on the meeting today, God spoke to me and said, he was talking to me about hope. And, you know, I've just always loved the, the encounter of hope. And, and God spoke to me and he said, hope is higher consciousness and i went whoa you know and i've heard a lot of people talk about experiencing a higher consciousness and he said the reality of hope is that we come into the reality of who we are we 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 get connected we we are revealed to us who we really are not who we hope to be who we you know we're we're dreaming to be you know it's like he says, this is who you are. This is who, you know, like that illusion of separation goes. But, but it was like the hope was not like maybe it will happen. It's like a surety. It has. It is done. It is finished. It is. This is who you are. You are. You have the fullness of who you are. And, and I could see that somebody was saying that we were had the bench of three, you know, and I saw hope saying i am connecting you to your higher consciousness of the divinity that's in you um that that you the dna of the christ that is in you and and it's like a recognizing and an encouraging of the christ that's in you and and it's like this is who you are and it's a settling it i don't know that's what i'm hearing and feeling and experiencing all the, and and when maggie said that's she said, going on now wow she felt the the glory fall and she said that moment she said the word um we are fully connected to our our fullness of divinity right then and i was like that's hope that's hope that's what hope is we are fully connected do we it's a revelation of our higher consciousness of who we are. If this makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Some, somebody said earlier about truth. And I think what you've just revealed, Robert, is the truth that sets us free yes. to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But isn't that going on now? That's what I see. Because divinity and truth, they both yeah. came up. Yeah. And yes. That's, that explains what's going on with us right now. Yes, exactly. Wow. Yeah. Right along with okay. that divine spark. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. yeah. Yes, our worlds may pass away. 
all gifts and prophecies and dreams and visions may pass away, but faith, hope, and love sustain forever. They are, they are part of our nature to see beyond the present. They're part of our prophetic nature. Our ability to have hope is our ability to trust in God in itself. Our ability to have faith is to somehow know beyond understanding what's about to happen. Um, yes. Beautiful. Good, good. You just see us as the nations right now, too. As all nations in oneness, Debbie? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. That's that's what's going on. Yeah. Amen. Oh, now I know what was in my, what oh, the shape was being formed in my mind, and I saw the multicolors and everything. It was just like Metatron. Yeah. It was like Metatron. <laughs> it okay. was, it was like the, you know, Yod was drawing Metatron and expanding that. Oh, it's just really cool. It did okay, remind I just me put of... a post. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Avril. I just posted a picture of the Tetragrammaton in the Bible because um, what it means. Um, no, what? No, I posted a picture of it on Messenger, but that's the exact thing that I was drawing, and I had no idea that Yahweh is called Tetragrammaton. For Yod Heh Vav Heh, the shape of that of yeah. those letters, not the letters, the the shape that coordinates with that is the tetragrammaton, and yes. that's what I was wow. doing. Or the wow. four, the four winds, the four energies, the four powers, the four angels, the tetragrammaton. Yeah, I never knew that, and that's exactly what I was drawing. I was drawing like, I was just drawing that over and over. That's so interesting. I feel like we've, I felt it earlier, like God himself has, has visited us yes. in the yard, in the yard. Yes. Yeah, the first letter of Jesus, Yeshua, that's Yod again. Yeah. Yeah, Yod is um, the 10th letter of the alphabet, and it stands for divine order, completion, wholeness, um, well, I was going to look up what I had um, written on here. Um, prosperity has 10 letters and um, there's 10, uh, the number 10 and the letter 10 um, is completeness, Yeshua, Yahweh. Um, and okay, that's all I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm, I was trying to look at my notes, but it, this is I'm all on my phone, so it's like I can't handle uh, that many screens. But I wanted to say when Robert was talking about wholeness and completeness and all of that is because, you know, that is divine order and, you know, divine alignment at the number 10, um, you know, stands for, you know, government and all of that. And um, prosperity has 10 letters. And that was something that he pointed out to me, it's, you know, that he's uh, pro spirit, you know, prosperous, and that is shalom, and that is wholeness, and you know, coming into uh, the completion and perfection of all that he intended, and is you know restored back to us. So, mm. yeah. Thank you. Wow, I didn't realize that. What was the ten letter word again? That yod is the tenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. No, no, no. The word that or you said. Uh, what? I, wa I wanted yeah. to write it down. Yeah, provision or prosperity. Oh, prosperity. prosperity. That's it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, there, there was just something that it has, it has 10 letters, and the Lord was saying, you know, that is my divine order. That is completeness and wholeness. And, and um, you know, of course, four represents, as you all were saying, the four corners and, you know, the four uh, faces, you know, of the creature, the four creatures and uh, the four winds and a lot of different things, but 10 represents, you know, order 10 tribes. I mean, there's a lot of things with 10, but um, especially divine order and government and completeness and wholeness and prosperity. Revelation is a 10 letter word too, right? I don't know. Count it. <laughs> I can't do it in my head. What, what? I have 10 fingers. So let's see. Are you... <laughs> And just for Jill, the word yayin, yayin, starts with... I believe so, unless I'm miscounting. <laughs> what? The word Wait. yayin. What is yayin? It means one. It means one. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, really? How do you spell that? I, yeah, I think it's yod, yod, noon. I, I sent the photo in the chat. I can look it up again. 
I didn't, um, it didn't come through for me, Peter. I just, I just see for Jill, but I see nothing else. Strange, yeah. It's just, it's just the that photo for, okay. for, for wine. Yod, Yod, and Noon, Yayin. Oh, that, it says wine. Yes. Okay, got it, yeah, all right. <laughs> well, was that an invitation to drink that? Um, yeah. We receive that spark, that, that that divine nature. We receive that new wine. That's how we receive what God has for us, that joy, that righteousness, peace, and joy. We receive it now. In Jesus' name, in the name yeah. of Yeshua, another Yod. So drink that, guys. I'm drinking it as wine. Of course you are, Joe. Big surprise, I know. I'm <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> You can always count on me, right? Mm -hmm. She doesn't just turn water into wine. She turns everything into wine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's yeah. the righteous reel of alcoholism, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely it is. Finally, I found it. <laughs> we thank you for your wonderful cherubims of joy and abundant mother. We all, we're always grateful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Well, you I'm know, Jill, you. Uh, I was just going to say um, to Jill uh, about the new wine um, just represents she's a, you know, a miracle of transformation because that's what the miracle of the water changing to wine represented a new Amen. creation miracle, which is what we all are uh, as new wine. And um, so we are that transformation because we, you know, not only flow with living water, but we also have that new wine to enjoy and share with others. Yes. Know, and all of that. So anyway, I was just saying that's, that's fitting for you, Jill. So whoever was going <laughs> to say something else, uh sorry. I'm just sensing, even as I'm still engaging with Yod, that I'm sensing more and more of that that uh, vibration, that that um, that um, yeah, back and forth vibration as I'm trying to hold on. But I noticed in my spirit, I feel like like he's just confirming inside of me. I am raising your frequency. Shut I'm up. raising it to a higher level. Mm -hmm. I'm raising your frequency. And, and uh, what I'm almost feeling too is I'm feeling a high expectancy. I'm feeling uh, um, something, you know, mm -hmm. powerful here. Um, mm -hmm. I, I feel like that we can almost experience a miracle in this higher frequency that, uh, uh, that's raising in our bodies right now. And that, you know, that miracles mm -hmm. could happen for us right now for people that are in need, you know, Anything in our body, you know, like a lower back, you know, any pain in our lower back, it's just believing for this higher frequency to to bring us into this reality of our divinity, to bring the hope of our higher consciousness of who we are, and that we don't have to struggle for it. This is just how it is, the illusion of separation. We are it's fully good. connected to that <laughs> frequency to that sound, to that healing, to to God's that good. Just yes, he simply, he's that good. Who would, ever, who would ever thought that the only work you have to do is to give thanks? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. I, good that, word, you know, good word. <laughs> mustard seed, right? With this yod, I saw the mustard, the teeny tiny mustard seed. Yeah. Um, have you guys ever seen yeast? Like uh, the little packets of yeast and opened up and look? Yeah. Those little yeah. balls are smaller than mustard seeds. Tiny. Those little teeny tiny balls. But I saw like that yod was like that little yeast ball. And it went into my blood and turned my blood into wine. And it went into my bones and turned my bones into bread. <laughs> yes. Really good. You, you brought up about mustard seed. And <laughs> I heard Kirby from Wildlife Church one time talk about the mustard seed he said you know we've been taught you know like in the church all the time how it's just a small mustard seed and how small it was and 
he said he just really started to engage God and said, God, what's the what's the importance of, you know, the mustard seed and, you know, how small it is. And he just felt like God just confronted him and said, that's not the importance of the mustard seed. And so he started on a journey of learning. And he said what he found out about the mustard seed wasn't that it was small, but it was the fastest growing seed in the world. Oh, and, wow. and I was like, oh, my goodness. You know, so if God releases the faith of a mustard seed in you, you can grow into a mighty tree. And it just needs that reality of, of being sprinkled with the hope with that realm of, of, you know, something that, that raises our consciousness, raises our hope, raises our reality, our confession to realize we are who he says we are. You know, we realize our divinity. We realize who he is in us. So good. So I really think that a lot of people, that's what's coming. The realization of that in people, it's just going to happen. Boom. For some people, I really believe that. I do the kind of thing coming. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Mm. Well, this is something we will, at the appropriate time here tonight, release it. Release it to all creation. You know, this generation, um, Jesus said, well, uh, the host said to the bridegroom, uh, you saved the best for last. Yes. And you know, we are this last <laughs> that he has saved us for the last. And he has also has so much that he has saved and reserved for us. And it's all being released. It's all, I mean, supernatural occurrences and miracles and signs and wonders and blessings and hope and everything and the joy, all of these being restored um, because the best was saved for the last, um, you know, well, I, I won't go into preaching, but anyway, uh, <laughs> that, that's for us guys, yes. you know, um, we're, the best has been reserved for us. And he also, you know, because we're his dream, we also are the best that he has for this generation, you know, to be a, a, a witness and a sign and a wonder to them. I also have a sense that what Patrick said earlier about the sun rising higher, yeah. I think that relates to the higher consciousness that Robert's describing and the fact that it's on the beach. And then I think it was Eloise, uh, or was it Debbie, who said the... Um, flag i think because it's on the beach and the sea relates to you know sharing it with the nations i think that's what we're going to release it to later sea to shining sea mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and the nations is actually us in our bodies too right now yes You know, I prefer to call us one nation versus body of Christ. I feel like it's it's the one nation. Could be, you know, that makes sense. I mean, we do have that, uh, what is it called? One nation under God with, you know, with that the Pledge of Allegiance or whatever yeah. it is. But yeah. It kind of goes, yeah. what you just said to me. But it's also the one nation of glorious Israel that all Israel will be saved. Yeah. And all nations will come and bless the Lord as one. Oh, yeah. I'm just uh, um, reveling, absorbing, enjoying this, uh, this glory spark, this out of control glorious energy and joy. I can't write right now because my, my arms are shaking too much. So in a, in a, in a glorious way. 
That is so cool. <laughs> yes, we speak healing that to nervous so symptoms cool. tonight. <laughs> All the nerves. <laughs> healing, healing. In Jesus' name. Be so glorious. Amen. Glorious. Glorious. Amen. I, I keep, I keep you hearing. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead, Abby. Go ahead, Dave. Okay, I just want to ask the new Robert if if what's the weather doing now is it still thundering and lightning or not yes it is and Ooh. it's on keywords that different people are saying i'm getting thunder strikes and i'm getting orange bright lights coming with lightning it's incredible i'm yeah, really I'm really enjoying the show you're talking spiritually or are you talking in the world right? physically. No, i'm talking about physically in the, physically in the world he's watching and and i've my whole life, I've always sucked energy out of storms. I just love storms. <laughs> I love that. He's burning it on us. Oh, yeah. something. There's something and, I want to receive. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I love storms. Just this receive it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to share something um, that I was, when Jill was talking, uh, that I was seeing, because I believe this is for everybody, but you were saying that you were shaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I saw this white, you know, whirlwind or twister um, from the bottom of your feet going all the way up. And it happened three times. And every time that it did, it was like, you know, you were shaking with it mm -hmm. and starting to you know, vibrate with it and coming more and more alive. And I feel like that's for all of us. Yes. For energy, strength, renewal. Um, you know, like Robert was saying, at high, that frequency, you know, just resonating in unison with that and letting that, um, you know, if, if that's, you know, yod energy or that divine energy. Um, but it's like, you know, like a, a white coil or, or whirlwind and it's all pure white and it's just going up our bodies going, you know, like I said, as you were, as you were talking about shaking, um, and vibrating, Joe. <laughs> yes, in a good way, right? Yes, absolutely. And that's what I'm seeing. But it happened three times and it went over your whole body. And I feel like that's significance that it was three times, you know? Yes. Uh, so for Trinity. Wow. So, um, Why doesn't like, someone speak that out over us or release that over us? All of us? She Whoever just is did. good with words. She oh, okay. Did. <laughs> it doesn't have to be all serious and all that just it is she spoke it and i just want to remind donna you know we saw that for you before the engagement started i don't know if you were here maggie for that when we were praying for donna but so i just want to say this confirmation for you donna i, I want to share something though if somebody's speaking something out um and say like she's seen that over jill all you have to do is say i received that for me yeah um, thank you. because yeah. she's declaring it out receive it unto yourself it's just like anybody if if somebody's given somebody a prophetic word but we're all functioning as one body in a group we're one body in a group you can receive the same thing for yourself um i do want to share that that as they were asking the new robert about the storm i was physically watching the intertwining it was almost as a green and a a blue or a green and a bright yellow was hitting the colors were intertwining almost like what you see as a um what are them the, the arupa auroras or something with all the lights kind of intertwining oh, yeah. i'm seeing that but then they asked him about that storm and he's like i'm i'm excited i'm you know he's seeing these things he's seeing certain words thunder is striking certain words lightning is hitting but in this aspect where he's at and that storm is coming it's changing the frequency and the energy in the physical air there's a new sight coming to where he is and i physically believe that from within my spirit i feel if he looks into the atmosphere of the air between the thunderings and the lightnings god is illuminating the energy matrix unto his eyes there's a visible, mm. there's a transformation in that storm, the visible energy field to the things with the rumbling of God. And he is just transitioning, witnessing that for all of us to be able to receive. Amen. Yes. That's good. Yes. Really good. I believe that. <laughs> As I had been um, 
experiencing Yod and, uh, you know, like I had crept on him and just flew back and forth and all that kind of stuff. But as I was kind of looking at the other Robert uh, and just uh, looking into the heavenlies and trying to see this storm, I, I saw the lightning and then I realized it was Yod <laughs> flying through oh. making the lightning. And, and and I could see Yod just flying through the lightning like he was, I don't know, I keep saying it in a masculine way, I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but I, I just see Yod interacting in that lightning. Cool. That's so tickled, like when this thing first opened, I saw lightning split a skeeter, and then I saw a, a baby, like a doe giving birth to a baby, and so I was trying. <laughs> the scripture i was trying to say who is this one that splits the cedars with its voice and causes the calf to bring forth the doe and i could not find the scripture i thought it was isaiah or something but i saw a doe like a lightning like but also gentle enough that is like the reason why a seed is sprouts and why why a baby's born but still powerful enough to to completely form a mountain <laughs> Right I want I want to again confirm or, or just reiterate that that I believe it's a visitation from Yahweh himself because he comes in the storm. You know, you they, yes. they, they say he comes with dark clouds and thunder and lightning. That's mm. so good. Um I'm I'm not a public speaker in these matters, but and all the love that I have inside of me that I have that is developed through me, I pray. And I have directed towards all of you that if you have a healing to take place, understand that it's the love inside of you that activates and makes it happen. Uh, yeah. I love, mm -hmm. I love every single one of you as much as I can. I love myself as much as I can, knowing myself. I love God with all my mind, heart, and soul. And I pray that your healing that you need and the activities you need for yourself at this time and the ones you love, especially around you, as you shine your light, that you are healed to be a healer and forgive to be forgiven. I love you all. Thank you. I receive it, brother. You. so strong. My hands is shaking. Thank you. I'm actually <laughs> the, I'm feeling your I'm feeling your heart, Robert. I'm really I'm feeling your heart right now. It's it's amazing. It's unbelievable. It's humility. It's brokenness it's a love for people it's, a, it's beautiful oh my god yeah yeah thank earlier, you so much robert go ahead peter i'm sorry i didn't know earlier somebody mentioned prosperity well you know god provides is Jehovah Jireh, which is yahweh yure and guess what's the first letter of both words yod <laughs> yod <laughs> so receive that as well I'm also being reminded of this, where it says, Christ in you, which is that oh, reality oh, oh. of the kingdom inside of you, the, the Christ kingdom inside of you, and, you know, the hope of his glory, you know, and I've talked about that hope being the gateway, but then, then God said, say it in the way that I've taught you today. So I just declare Christ in you the higher consciousness to yeah. his glory. Uh, and, and it's like you are connected to his divinity and you have a higher consciousness. This hope is the same thing as higher consciousness. So the Christ in you, the kingdom in you, bringing a higher consciousness, opening a gateway into his glory. And, and I just feel like as people are feeling the glory of God, it's simply because that connection of reality of who you are now. Amen. Yes. I receive it all, Robert. You are the taking so strong. It's like my hands is it's like hard. I cannot type anything. Yeah. Ooh, so strong. I receive it. We are the gateways of glory. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Such gratitude. Yeah. For this. 
I feel like you can just sit inside the yod and it's that flame that can just burn all the dross away. Holy those, fire. Those, those, those things that just, you obviously know that they're not true thoughts. They bring unusual pain when you bring them into your mind. Those things, they just get just burned away. Yes. Lies, those illusions. Illusions separate fear. It's funny you say that because I was I was in almost like the the library of the mind, the area where things are stored. And I heard the Lord say clearly, fire, ignite. And I seen it begin, woof, and it began to fill up the chambers and burn and burn and burn. And then you started talking about the draws and the mindsets. I think it's the chambers of our heart right now. Uh, I want to keep going. The temple of God. When you said ignite in the fires, I felt the flames of God just re being released. I could feel it released, and then I felt like there was a a winnowing fork, or, or you know, or the thing that would create like a a, a wind, or a you know something to blow oxygen into the fire to make it flame up to be bigger and um as i was um seeing this i felt like i was saying like he was prophesying to the dead bones and he was saying the four winds of you know from the four corners of the earth and i think jeremiah talked about this earlier you know was talking about the four winds and and i saw the four winds blowing into this fire that you mentioned mandy and it was like, I mean, it was releasing something huge. And, and I could feel it in my inner being right now. It's like this fire is being released and thing. But I, I just keep hearing God saying, prophesy my breath from the four winds. Prophesy my breath from the four uh, winds. Uh, and, and I'm just seeing life being released upon us. And even in that breath is that that frequency that sound it's that that voice of of yahweh it's that where yod is creating this and it's like a breath and it's like the four winds being released uh, i'm just sensing all that together robert please release that over us and over the nations it's an activation going on right now yes yeah god we just release the four winds we we join in with the with the words that are being made by Yod. We we release that prophecy that where you're prophesying the four winds to release the the the, um, the breath of yeah. God. That frequency, that sound is being released, and we we hear that that. Uh, let there be that fire that that igniting of the fire and and i just see the breath releasing and i see the fire just going everywhere uh, i see it just consuming us a fire a heavenly fire that is consuming us it's consuming us and that breath is all in that and that we become that we're not just just seeing it but we have that revelation that that higher conscious that we are that fire we are that breath we are that vibration we are that frequency we are that even like a oneness with yod you know um, we just see that you're just revealing it to us and in the glory i see the fire i see the fire of your glory i'm just releasing it i'm just declaring our hope our higher consciousness of who we are. I'm declaring that we're one with him. We're one with our father. We're one with even mama. We're one with the love of God. Even as the other Robert was talking about, we we're one with that love. We're one with that sound. We're one with that frequency. And that, that it's like a consuming fire. It's just changing us. It, it's, it's consuming us. And, and we just release it right now, and we just agree with it right now. We honor it right now. Oh, yeah, that is. Yad, hey, Bob, hey. Yad, hey, Bob. So it is. Thank you. 
Father, we need the power of your word in this time. We really do. We need your anointing and we need your power. We need this fire to travel in our voice. <laughs> we need this fire to travel in our testimonies. And we need of all this fire to travel in our testimonies about you and your goodness. <laughs> and let this yacht be the head and not the tail. Let us go in. <laughs> with this yod and every word that is becoming of it. There's proclamations being spoken over us right now in the heavenlies. As Deborah was saying that, I was just sensing us, you know, it's all like proclamation speaking over in the heavenlies, but I saw us all in the womb of God and I saw this reality of a a loving father and a loving mother that was just speaking blessings, speaking honor, speaking hope, speaking destiny, speaking um, prophetic vision, uh, opening our scrolls and, and just releasing fire, just releasing fire. But, but it's like a, a loving father, and mother, but with such power being released and, and just they're agreeing with, with with the hope of who we are that higher consciousness they're releasing the higher consciousness right now wow birth it release it birth it release it birth it release it birth it release it now i'm getting like we're in inside of the father's heart and reverting like new petals that reverting growing like a baby mm -hmm. Love that, yes. That's because it's a father, mother, Christ. And Christ is us. Time to wake up, folks. That's Amen. why. Amen. That's what it, it love is yes. father, mother, Christ. Yeah. Amen. And and we we know our place. We know our place. We're here. Yes. Nobody is without a mother and a father. It's being happening in the spirit right now for us, through us, with us, and over us right now. We're birthing and we're releasing right now. Those little yods are the little flames of Pentecost. Welcome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> you can just honor mama right now. Just bring at least the honor. Yeah. At least the honor. Ooh. We honor the Father. We honor the Mother. We honor the oneness there. We honor the completeness. We honor the wholeness there. We just honor. We mm -hmm. honor that revelation, that higher consciousness, that reality of oneness that you've given us, God. We honor. We honor that, God. Whoo. I feel like I'm giving birth. That's what I just, I feel like I'm just giving birth oh. to what God's doing. Hey, na, she, na, na, who, na, na, ba, ba, she, da, da, na, da, 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 na, da, birth, release, birth, release, people, it's time. Let it come forth. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just saw a man on the ground. He's like, he's, maybe he's like, he's wet and he's, Wearing like a, a blue shirt and and blue jeans, and he's he's on the ground like he hurt his knee. Looking kind of scared, so he's healing to the people that we can walk as God leads, and healing to people that need it. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Release. <sighs> holy, 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 holy. Man. Father God, everything we receive tonight, all this righteousness, peace, joy, healing, life, energy, provision, we, we thank you for it. We receive it all for ourselves. We release it for our family, our friends, our nation, for the world. In the name of Yeshua. I don't know if you can hear the rolling thunder behind me that just came up or not. Hmm. Cool. What is a solemn assembly? Does anyone know? You heard that? Solemn assembly? 
Well, it's possibly solemn assembly. It's definitely solemn. Okay. We'll figure it out. So solemn means holy. We're holy. It's like getting together. Okay. Face, whatever you have us to do. What we're doing now, for example. Yeah. It's also the um, day that begins each of the feast days that are ordained by God. They start out with a solemn assembly where no one does any ordinary work. Mm. I also think of solemn as being kind of down to the point. And, you know, we're all kind of prodigals. It's time for one of them parties we get when we come home, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What else were we going to release, you guys? Uh, let me look at my notes here. Prosperity, wine. Mm. Energetic divinity of Yod. It's possible we're, city, we're seated in the center of a circle. There's people holding hands. I don't know who they are, but it's like we're encircled by them. Holy. It's holy. Cool. Also about what released, I think Robert said in uh, Psalm 29, the voice of Yahweh over the waters. We can release that. Because breakthrough in life in Jesus' name and birthing. Amen. I'd like to yeah, really um, that oh, those, okay. those that are led by the Spirit, those are the sons of God. And um and that that we would all just be led by this word, that that we would be able to hear what Father's doing. It says that you we cannot go unless we're sent. And that in our authority is in that we know what Father is doing. And we go and we do that. And so, yes, just clarity. Help us, help us Father, to, to hear your voice clearly and to respond. And, uh, and just to be about your business. Thank you, Jeremiah. And, of course, the first letter in Jeremiah is? Yod. <laughs> what is, how would they say it in Hebrew? I think it's Yermiyahu. Yermiyahu. <laughs> <laughs> Avril, were you going to say something? No. Okay. Well, I was actually. I was thinking, but I was so laid back and on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for prompting me. We're releasing this, but I just want to just encourage you all that you carry this. So although we've released it over the earth, just be aware that where you go, you carry this. Yeah. And if you become aware of it, your intention is can, can just by your intention, you just release it wherever you walk. We are super spreaders. Super spreaders. <laughs> we are indeed. More, the, more ways good. than one. <laughs> but I've just been practicing that recently, just being really aware of what I carry when I go into places. And the atmosphere around me, well, it does, I change the atmosphere when I walk into places. Um, oh, good. Yes. It's just amazing. It's just, it's when, when you become aware of it, you can just see it. And all it is, is just being aware, just having that higher consciousness to understand. Pigs. That was the you word know, coming to me. I was getting ready to say that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just to have that higher consciousness that, like, you know, me as a visual, as an artist, as a visual person, it's like, walk in, I'm like a big bubble now, pop, I'm going to pop the bubble and just release everything that I've got into the atmosphere around me. And people feel it and pick up on it without even knowing. It's it's incredible. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? 
kind of like choosing the paints to paint your future. The bubble. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. There's a, um, I think there's a part of scripture that I can't remember where it's at, but it talks about um, he's the God of all hope, you know, um, and I, I just taking that word as he said today to me that hope was higher consciousness and he's the God of all higher consciousness, you know, he's the one that releases that reality that we can be aware of our divinity, aware of who we are, that we become aware that the blood of Jesus work that we're one with who he is that we have union that we have peace we have we have that connection we have that um the dna really has gone into our dna and and there's oneness there you know there's i, I just pray that we all realize who we are yeah i just pray yeah. that higher consciousness upon us and then if you're in a broken area, you need hope, but you also need higher consciousness. You need to realize who you are in the midst of that broken situation. This is a, an awareness, isn't it, of our eternal identity? Yeah. The true identity yes. we carry for eternity. Yes. Well, let's release okay. Romans 13 over us. Romans 15, 13. It's in Messenger. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We receive that joy, that, that yeah. peace in Jesus' name. The power. Amen. I feel like that's exactly what we, we engaged today. Mm -hmm. Was yeah, that scripture really what you just yeah. said? Um, I'd like to read something about Yod, if I could, a paragraph um, yes. talking about birthing and divine energy and everything. Um, it, there's one simple little thing here that it talks about unity within multiplicity, but that single point, at, and I'm feeling the glory again. <laughs> Every time I'm talking about it, with the creation and Yod, it, it's coming out. The single point from which all of creation emerges and the unity within multiplicity. So that's the picture that I saw before of that uh, piece of the pie. It's the foundation of all foundations, the hidden divine spark, which causes everything to be. It re represents the power of the spirit to govern and guide the matter. It's a symbol of the Holy One, the creator. The holy name starts with Yod, small in form. The meaning of the Yod is great. It represents um, the infinite dot is the essence of all life. Um, it's the foundation of all, okay, I said that everything comes from it and returns to it. It's the hidden dot beyond imagination, formless, the source of all thought, beyond all thoughts, beyond time and space. It's the secret hidden principle of the universe that we can't perceive, the divine spark of life that is in every single being. It cannot be grasped, but it is in every cell of your body causing you to exist. It has no mass or density, time or space. It is in the power of the spirit to govern and guide the matter of the material world. That small suspended point reveals the spark of essential good hidden within us and the divine light and infinite light within us and um and it goes on to talk about birthing making place for creation um because it all begins with that letter and yeah. that divine spark and that divine energy um but every cell of, of your body reverberating <laughs> and, and, and that's the spark. Um, you know, um, I have read in science where there is a spark when there's conception. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, this is divine life that we're talking about. So, amen. Amen. Where did you um, read that from, Maggie? This is from... AprilLevy.com. I can. Uh, oh, I'll look it up. It's, it's okay. I'll look uh, it up. Thank you. The letter Yod. Um, yeah. And the word in Hebrew unity is Yachad or Yachad. And that starts with, you guessed it, the letter Yod. <laughs>
Just wow. Yeah, just wow. <laughs> sort of. And you can fall into that for a long time. Yes. Should we close, you guys? What do you think? Do you guys have more? What do you feel, Peter? I feel full. I feel full. I feel like I'm just having to breathe it out. Just like I've gave birth and I'm like, oh, just huge. Give me a minute. I'm just filling back up. I was exhausted okay. for a second. <laughs> <laughs> You want I feel me to keep we need to just yeah, I feel we need to just sit in this for a little bit in what we're all feeling. Okay. If that's okay. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Even if it's in quietness, you just I just feel we need to stay together for a little bit. You know, it's okay. I'll keep the recording on and we'll just see if anything else comes up or not. No big deal. I don't know if this is for listeners later or anyone here, but I did feel healing in the eyes. And I do agree. It's right now. There's comfort in the company. Yeah. Yes, there's huge comfort in the company to know. Yeah. There's unity as well. And we need to just sit with that for a bit on feeling. Okay. Yeah, like the word says, Which is, I feel like a tingling in my eyes right now. <laughs> so translate that for us, Peter. Psalm 133, verse 1. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for the, the brothers to dwell together in unity. Amen. It's just like the oil that's poured down on Aaron's head and runs down his beard his garment right before he does ministry <laughs> yeah the high priestly ironic blessing starts with yod every paragraph um there's four of them i, I think peter uh would can correct me if i'm wrong but um they all start with that yod that's right uh, yabaraka is like will bless yes yeah, right i think you're right with that Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. My arm and my hands still tingling. And it's hard to move. Okay, mm. that's a good place to be. That's a great place yeah. to be, Eloisa. <laughs> Don't fight it. <laughs> Put your yeah. hand on your forehead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. brother. Yeah, I saw some bands being removed from, from a head, uh, like headaches or yes, sir. Um, being blinded yeah. somehow mm. uh, by, you know, by darkness, but I wanted to say really quickly, um, I had two visions um, before of Jesus um, with light making larger territories and boundaries for the group and for, you know, individuals here. Yeah. And then just now I saw the four, the number four being extended, especially to the left side, uh, which is more of the natural, you know, versus the supernatural, but all four corners. Um, but those boundary lines are shifting and forming. And so like, you know, spheres of influence and government that we all are responsible for our own, you know, authority and family and, and all of that job, business ministries, um, that Jesus with us was 
um, expanding and basically kind of inviting um, us, so y'all can do this, you know, individually later with him, um, those boundary lines and extending them and saying, you know, I want to go this far, but I don't want to go this to that place and kind of like, you know, co-creating with him. And it was all in, in light. He was doing that all in light and time was dissolving and space was dissolving. So it was just marking out those boundaries in those territories. And then again, with the four, um, you know, that there being those four areas or the, the uh, completion of the, of the four sides of the four corners of the earth, <laughs> so to speak. Maggie, you said a lot. But getting back to the the headaches, you know, the, the bands, beautiful. the bands off the head. It also can be people being freed from depression and anxiety and wrong thoughts and suicidal thoughts. So all that stuff is destroyed because of the anointing. It's all broken off in Jesus' name. But that's that's good, Peter. Yeah, that was good too. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And you talked about expanding the territories. That was the prayer of Jabez. You know, the Lord will Lord bless you. Will bless us, mm -hmm. indeed. Increase us. And give us joy, all that stuff. Yes. Yabez. Guess what the first letter is in Yabez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he prayed, you know, remove pain and don't let me cause pain. Yes, you know? that's right. That two-sided thing. So good. Hallelujah. So good. You're a good God. Mm. Thank you, Father. Good night, Lee. Good night, Lee. Love you. Thank you. Well, Lee. Good night, Lee. Dream, visions on your bed, brother. Shuba, Shaba. Yes. And all of us, I receive it. This was amazing, guys. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is. I've got to meet with somebody right after this, so I need to go now. Um, but uh, just I was just blown away by this. It really was amazing. So thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You, Love you, Robert. All this from the Love tiniest. What's up, Peter? I'm sorry. Oh, all this from the tiniest little letter. Yoda's like the smallest letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And... Who would think, right? <laughs> it was powerful. It's been very powerful. Yeah, but did you hear everything that was in that tiny little letter? Yeah. yeah. I mean, holy mackerel. That, whew, that's that's seems... everything. Yeah. It's like the essence of the universe. Yes. Yeah, I see it dancing and moving, and it's just not, you know, stationary at all. <laughs> it's moving around <laughs> Never. All, all over the place, like Robert was saying before, you know, going all over. That's I kind of see him, you know, doing a little dance, and yeah. So, Father, I just, I seal this ascension with the blood, the love, and the light of Yeshua. We thank mm -hmm. you for it, Father. We thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen.